So I'm a big fan of coffee, uh, and I like to experiment and try different coffees, and Turkish coffee is new on my list, and so we went ahead and ordered this highly rated, one of the top sellers there on, uh, on Amazon, and uh, we're going to give this a go. I'm going to show you how I make my coffee. Now, it does come sealed on top, of course, but I want you to see um, that Turkish coffee is ground much finer than, than any coffee. I mean, it's just like a, it's like a flower. This is an authentic Tur Turkish coffee pot. It's copper on the outside, tin lined on the inside. So when making your Turkish coffee, the uh, recommendation is to use 6 grams of coffee to 65 grams of water and so that's going to be like a 1 to 10 ratio so I like to do just a little bit more than that and I'm going to do 180 grams of water 180 grams of water that's six ounces I like to go ahead and add sugar to it now I got my recipe from uh, somebody who's been making Turkish coffee since they were a kid he's from Serbia and so I'm using his instructions I'm going to go ahead and stir this up and dissolve next thing I'm going to do is bring it to a boil. Now when weighing out my coffee, I'm just using a little espresso mug and uh, we're gonna do 18 grams of coffee. So in just a couple minutes, the water has come to a rolling boil. Now again, I'm just gonna do a, a tablespoon at a time. And when I ask my friend, why do you boil the water before uh, you add the coffee? And uh, his response was, I don't know, that's just the way we've always done it. <laughs> now what we wanna do is that we wanna boil this again and we want to do a slow boil on this. So we're just going to keep this flame really low. Now we don't want it to boil over. So we're going to keep a very close eye on this. It should only take a, a minute or two. That water is already really hot. You can see all that cream coming up to the top. Now at this point, some people will pull that cream off and I'm not. I'm just going to let that boil up over. Again, you can pull this cream off a second time we're just going to let it reduce. Now you don't want to overboil this because you will extract too much um, coffee and it'll become bitter and you don't like a bitter coffee. Nobody likes a bitter coffee and you don't want it to boil either. So at this point, my coffee is done. Now what some people will do is they will pour this real light and real smooth to preserve that cream. Other people will just dump it in and then still others will filter this so that you don't get any of the grounds. Now you're always going to have a bunch of grounds doing it this way because they don't dissolve. They just sit down at the bottom and uh, when you drink your coffee you want to make sure that you're just sipping on your coffee and you're not drinking. Okay, so if you look real closely, this is a really dark cup of coffee, and you can see all the grounds have settled down there to the bottom. And that, you just wanna make sure that you don't drink that because it is, it is sludge, and it's sandy, and it's not, it's not good at all. It'll ruin your coffee. This is actually enough for three people right here. Ooh, that's really good. You definitely, you definitely need to add sugar to it. I'm a strictly black coffee drinker, but this stuff right here, I tell you what, it'll put hair on your back. And uh, so you just want to make sure that you, you sweeten that up a little bit and it'll make it far better. Another thing that would make it really good is if you had a, a, a little sweet, something to eat with this, a little piece of cake or maybe a, a, little, a little pastry would go great with this. They also serve a cup of water with this to clean your palate before you take a drink. And it just makes it that much better. 